just a quick little disclaimer, I am not a licensed nail tech, nor am I claiming to be one. Honestly, I'm just a girl who likes doing her nails at home for free. So if you want to follow along, just do your research on any of the products that I use before you go ahead and try it for yourself. Okay, so here's the before and the after of the nail process. I just soaked off a previous set on the, my other hand, but other than that, I have not touched my nails. I'm gonna just begin to buff my nail in preparation for the tips. And very quickly, for some reason, my camera wasn't focusing on certain parts of the video. It was just like kind of going in and out. So for that, I apologize. This is my first time ever trying to record like this, so bear with me. Now I'm just using this file, it has 180 grit, which is the level, I guess, of like roughness for the file. Again, I'm not a professional, so this is, I just kind of picked it up and I just wanted something that's like, um, pretty much will get the job done. I'm gonna just start shaping my nails. Even though we are applying the tips, I just kind of want to make sure my nails are clean and polished before I apply them. You wanna make sure that you have just a brush on hand so you can brush away like the dust particles as they build up. This is honestly just like a make an old makeup brush that I never used, so this is what I use for my nails now. I'm gonna just spritz on some antibacterial cleansing spray just to make sure that there's no residue of like oil on my nails so that the um, glue can adhere to the nail properly. This is an electric drill that I purchased from Amazon. All the products that I've, I'm using in this video, I honestly purchased either in Amazon, on Amazon or in Sally's beauty supply store. This I've had for years, so it's very dusty and very old, but it still works very well. So I'm gonna just use this drill head just to begin working on my cuticles. It's honestly very important that you like file around your, the cuticle area so that when you apply the SNS and uh, dip powder and like the um, adhesive, it sticks to the nail so you can avoid lifting. Legit, this, I don't care like whatever product you use, it doesn't have to be the same uh, dip set that I use, but this makes the difference. Honestly, my nail set, can last maybe like three or four weeks just because of this step. Personally, I keep my drill setting on low just so that I don't um, over buff or over like file my nails. And I'm just taking the file along my cuticle just to make sure that it's prepped for the nail. And I'm just taking the cuticle clipper just to clip my cuticles. And honestly, don't over clip your cuticles because you don't want to damage anything. Okay, so these are the tips that I ordered from Amazon. Everything that I ordered from Amazon, the link will be in the description box so you could, so you guys can order the exact same one. I really, really like these tips just because it has the curve at the end of the tip so it like sticks to your nail so nicely. I've tried like the other ones that's just like straight across and honestly I hate them. So this, this one's a really nice one to try. And you wanna just make sure that you pick out each nail that fits your nail best. Don't make sure that it's not a size too small because like that will really cause like discomfort later on. So even if you have to file it down, but this this nail set like matched my nails perfectly. I didn't have to do that, but just if you do, just make sure you get a bigger one, just file it down rather than just like settling for a small nail. And obviously when you begin to like glue the nails, just hold it for a second so the glue can like dry in place. But like, do you see how well this just fits on like each of my nails? Like I love these tips.
now I'm just taking these nail clippers just to kind of like measure to see how long I want my nails and then just begin clipping them. This isn't my nail clipper, this is my mom. She is actually like a professional nail tech, but I was at her house doing my nails. The purple ones or the pink ones are the ones that I normally use, but I got glue on it, so it was kind of stuck. But I'm gonna have the purple one linked down below because that's the one that I normally use. And normally, like when you clip them, like it like pops off like quickly. I think just cause like the blade is like very old and it's not as sharp as it like, once was. So if you like purchase them, it, it's easier to clip. I'm like struggling over here. Okay, so now I'm just measuring out the na my nail shape that I want before I begin to apply the product just because I want to kind of get that shape down first. And then just to make sure that my nails um, are, the nail length is similar, I always do like a nail check at the end of the file just to make sure like the ha both hands match each other. Okay, so I'm gonna just dust away the residue as well as take some more of that antibacterial spray and wipe off my nails just to make sure it's dehydrated. Bond Aid by OPI, which pretty much it helps honestly like bond the product to your nail so that it prevents lifting. I just apply this to my actual, like my natural nail, not on like the tips because it really does not matter. Okay, so the kit that I'm using is from Kiara Sky. I'm just taking the step one, which is their Bond product. It's another Bond, uh, just kind of similar to the one from OPI. I'm just gonna follow the steps. Honestly, this kit was worth it. It comes with all six steps and five different powders. The one that I'm using is uh, dark pink, and I really love this, especially with the polish that I'm gonna use at the end. For all of those um, products, it. The price did come out to like over either 100 or a little over 100 but if you are looking for a cheaper alternative when i first started doing my nails at home with sns powder i did go to sally's which is um i think a whole kit might be like 20 bucks so that's a cheaper alternative as well okay so step two is kind of like a glue polish i'm painting a horizontal line where the tip meets my natural nail across and i'm going to dip it in the powder and i do this kind of like as like a extra step just to make sure that everything is kind of like stuck in place. You want to just dip the nail in for like a second and tap off the excess. At the end when I do all the nails then you're going to take your brush and dust off the residue powder and then begin coating a second later layer down uh, vertically. Another thing you can do before you begin to apply the dip powder is um, when you finally glue on the fake tip, you can take your buffer and your file and file down where your natural nail meets the tip just so it's um, smoother. I honestly forgot to do that, but as you'll see in the end, it really did matter, but it saves you time later on when you have to buff out the ridge. So exactly where the horizontal line begins, I'm taking the brush and starting from there to the end of the tip. And I'm gonna just build up this um, powder in layers so that it can build up the apex on the nail. Final layer, I'm painting the entire nail and dipping it into the powder. 
sometimes like if for whatever reason you do have like a little like blot blotchiness or spots you can always go in for a fourth layer but just make sure that to avoid that you can just polish on thin layers of the glue so it's not clunky in any area and more powder sticks to one area. Okay, so now I'm taking the third step, which is the seal and protect. Basically, this product is like the equivalent of curing the nail, like if you were to do gel nails. It just keeps everything like set in place so that when you go to file it, you don't have like chunks of nail filing, like flying off. Um, I apply like a generous coat of this and then I begin to file. You just want to make sure you wait like a minute or so just so it gives the nail enough time to like dry. Now I'm just taking my buffing drill head and I'm going to begin to file my nail. I'm honestly just buffing up and down side to side, just pretty much trying to get the nail as smooth as possible. Again, this is on a very low setting, so like even if it like touches my skin, it's not cutting me at all. Um, I'm just going to go in with the filing at this, like this point, like I'll use my drill head, my buffing block, and my 180 grip file just to make sure that I shape the nails to my liking. Just taking this um, drill to the sides of my nail just to make sure that everything is like nice and smooth on those edges because you don't want like any lifting on that area. Um, before I used to kind of like neglect this area and I just felt like my nails wouldn't last as long. That's probably just like something that like really doesn't matter but just for me personally like it just looks better. It looks neater when you focus not just on like the surface of the nail but the sides as well. I know it looks like I'm holding like the drill really weird. It's because like, I'm not a lefty, I'm a righty. But the reason why I'm filming me doing my right hand is because I, l I always love the way my right hand turns out. And I honestly think it's because um, I know that I'm not a lefty. So I'm taking my time when I do my hand. So it just comes out a little bit better. Okay, listen, do not neglect underneath your nail. Just make sure that you just give it a quick little file so that it just kind of like shapes the nail a little bit better and you don't like have any residue of unwanted nail product. Mm -hmm. 
Ignore the flakes, I'll fix that later on. Anyway, I'm just showing you guys like 90% of the filing that's already done. Um, I'm just gonna go in very quickly with my 180 grit to just give it one last like shaping. And then I'm gonna finish off with like the polish. In a second, you're gonna see me just filing the entire surface of my nail with the same file. The reason why I'm doing this, I'm just creating a rough surface so that the gel polish can adhere to something. If you skip this step, your gel manicure will start lifting in a day or so. So learn from me and just quickly file the entirety of the nail, the sides and the tips too. Taking my absolute favorite gel polish, which is from OPI, it's called Bubble Bath. It's the perfect pink shade that honestly goes with anybody's like skin tone. It's so, so pretty. I literally get compliments on this color all the time. And the LED light that I'm using is also from Amazon. And again, that will be linked below. And now I'm going to just begin to polish this. Uh, I'm only doing one coat of this polish. But like, look at the color that it's giving. Like, it's just so pretty and it's so sheer. It's not overpowering at all. Just a quick FYI, I've had this um, gel light, LED light for a very long time. So like, there's like old like polish and like gel residue. I used to do like actual full like gel nails and like, it would stick to the outer layer and it's so hard to get off. So I know it's a little dirty, but whatever. Make sure you take the gel polish to the tips of your nails as well so that it doesn't cause like the polish to lift as well. So you're gonna do one thin layer on the top and then one quick little coat on the tip of the nail. And now I'm just taking this OPI top coat gel polish. I don't know why it was so blurry, but that's basically what it said. And I'm gonna just paint all of my nails with this one coat and then cure it for 45 seconds. Um, each layer I cure it for 45 seconds. antibacterial cleansing spray from the beginning and I'm just spraying it on a cotton ball just to wipe off the sticky layer from the top coat and then I'm gonna go in with a cuticle oil and then we're all set
Here is the final result. This is like my go-to at home DIY nails. If you guys do attempt to do this at home, let me know in the comments below how it worked for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye guys. Oh,